So in bird language, we talk a lot about voices. And basically, birds use different voices to communicate different things with each other. Each bird species might have kind of their own unique set of voices. They're gonna sound a little bit different from other birds. And each type of voice has kind of a different sound. So depending on the bird that you're listening to or the thing that they're communicating, each voice is gonna sound a little bit different. There's a lot of different voices, but they all fall into two categories. One of them is called bass line. The other one is called alarm. So again, we're going to use chickadees for our examples here. Bass line voices are the voices that birds use when they're feeling safe, they're feeling calm, they're feeling happy. But there's different types of bass line voices depending on what the birds are saying, what they want to communicate to each other. There are more baseline voices than this, but for today, we're just gonna focus on two because these are gonna be the most common ones that you're hearing, and they're gonna be the easiest for you to practice identifying. So the two baseline voices we're going to talk about are the song and the call. The song voice is used to communicate a couple different things. One of the reasons birds will use the song voice is to communicate where their territory is. Another reason they'll use the song voice is to attract mates. So if we're using our chickadee as an example, their song sounds like, hey sweetie, hey sweetie. And when they're using their song, they're communicating things like, this is my tree. How's everybody doing? This is also my tree. Come hang out with me. So even if you don't know for sure what a bird's song sounds like, you can kind of give it your best guess. It's usually going to sound pretty. They're usually going to do it when they're calm, when there's nothing going on, and they might sing their song for a while. Those are some clues that it might be a song. The call is the voice that birds use when they're just kind of checking in on each other. They're seeing how each other are doing. So these two chickadees are checking in on each other. So this one's calling out, chickadee dee dee, you okay down there? And then this one is calling back or responding, chickadee dee dee, I'm okay down here. You okay down there? I'm okay down here. So again, the two baseline voices that we're talking about are the song and the call. The song is how birds communicate their territory and attract mates. And the call is how they check in on each other. All right, and next we're gonna talk about alarms. Now you probably have heard an alarm of some sort before. So you can think about what the alarms you're used to sound like. Maybe you've heard an alarm clock. Maybe you've heard an ambulance siren or a car alarm. So alarms are sharp, they're loud, and they're used to communicate danger. So here's our chickadee, and they're communicating danger through an alarm. Now the chickadee call is a calm chickadee dee chickadee dee dee An alarm has some of the same sounds, but it's faster and it's sharper. Dee 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 So they can use an alarm to communicate about anything they think is a danger. In my yard, my dog is always excited to see birds. This is Abby here, because she loves bird seed, and the birds tend to drop a lot of bird seed. So she always goes up to the birds and checks in like, hey, do you have any food? And the chickadees set off all kinds of alarms when they see Abby coming. Dee 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 Danger dog 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 dog. Danger dog 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 dog. And so a lot of times after you hear an alarm, you'll hear silence. An alarm is a really effective way for the birds to warn each other about danger but if they keep sounding the alarm, that's gonna attract 
whatever danger is nearby right to them. So you'll hear an alarm, and then a lot of times you'll hear silence afterward. So those are ways that you can usually tell the difference between baseline voices and alarm voices. Um, but some birds have kind of their own thing going on. They don't really follow those exact rules as far as what they sound like. For right now, you can just give it your best guess. No worries. This is just about practicing awareness right now. Just giving it your best try. <laughs>